Shoes are kind of like cars for your feet. Think about that. That's why today I will be going through five colorways that I created with several Nikes for five different car brands. In order to do this, I would look at the car brand's logos and some of their associated current and popular race liveries, and then pick the shoe that either reflects the brand or in a couple of cases, pick the shoes with the best color options for the job. Now that everyone's caught up on what the heck is going on, let's start out with my BMW Air Force Ones. The Air Force Ones were my second choice behind the Air Hurachis, but the Air Hurachis didn't have the proper color choices. That's okay though because the Air Force Ones had us covered. This also worked out because the Air Force Ones are an older style and a heavier shoe but they're surprisingly light on your feet and very comfy to wear and walk around in which gives off major BMW energy. The colors that I was looking for that I found in the Air Force Ones were white, light blue, blue, and red. All colors found on a lot of the BMW liveries and M cars. With this in mind, I wanted to start with an all white shoe in order to scatter the tastefully done dark and light blue accents throughout the shoe. I started with the dark blue and I wanted it to be on opposite sides of the shoe to match the BMW logo's checkered board look. So I went with putting the dark blue on this panel just above the toes and on the check. I then switched to light blue and put the light blue on this panel in the middle of the shoe because of how central and small that section is. This kept the light blue from being too much yet placed it in a spot easily seen and appreciated. After this, I had to do the strap in red because the strap reminds me of the seatbelts and breaks up the main shoe's design in a really cool tactical way. The last color I used to bring the whole shoe together was the black on the bottom sole of the shoe. The final design is not only in my opinion an awesome BMW themed Nike, but this is a Nike I would buy with my own money if they were to release it right now as just a colorway. Moving on to our next brand though, let's move on to McLaren where I went with a running shoe, the Pegasus 40. I feel like McLaren only makes fast cars, which is why I looked for a running shoe, and it seems like McLaren drivers are younger money from tech pros and finance bros, which is a group of people who own one pair of comfy running shoes for the days they're not in dress shoes. The Pegasus 40 also thankfully had the right colors available with the orange, black, white, and red. I started with an all orange shoe, but while making the shoe all orange, I found this option on the sole of the shoe to make orange paint that fades into white from either top to bottom or from bottom to top. This got me even more excited about this shoe in particular because this is a paint feature I commonly see on McLarens. After I got the all orange shoe, I started playing with black accents, which got me to this point here. I really like the way that the tongue and these panels just below the laces match the look of the two-tone McLarens that have black roofs. And this lace bracket piece looks just like air vents placed behind windows. Another thing I experimented with was a lighter shade of orange on the laces, which gives me even even more two-tone McLaren vibes. After this, I realized that I hadn't used red though, but I remembered that you could change the color of these little patches of stitching. And when these were changed to red, we had the complete McLaren shoe. Altogether, this creates a very subtle yet loud design and something that seems like it was shaped by the wind like a McLaren. I am today's video sponsor because this channel currently has seven subscribers. So please, if you could go stream Kose on anywhere you listen to music and please like the video and subscribe. Love you, thank you. Please run my numbers up, bro. Next up, let's move to a brand that I'm deeply drawn to, just like a lot of other car people. Can you guess what it is? Eh? It's Porsche, Porsche, uh, Porsche. Porsche. Porsche with the Nike 77 Blazer. I picked the Blazers partly because they had the correct color choices with gold, black, and red, but also because the 77 Blazers seem like a very subtle and vintage design that can still be called elegant and timeless, just like a Porsche. I started out by making the largest section of the shoe the sanded gold, since a majority of the Porsche logo is gold. Then, because the horse on the Porsche logo is black, I went ahead and blacked out both Nike checks. I followed this up by also blacking out the sole of the shoe to pay homage to these black things in the gold plates of the logo. On the top of the shoe, I wanted to recreate the red and black stripes on the other two plates of the Porsche logo, which is why I decided on a red tongue and black upper leather panel patches and laces. The final detail to then sort out was this back leather patch, and I decided to go with red as if it was a continuation of the red tongue, like a racing stripe or something to that nature. This also reminded me of the black 
stocky vintage taillights on old Porsches. So I had to add the word Nike like the way Porsche wrote Porsche on the old taillight bars. The final shoe to me is a well-balanced and unique colorway that's very, if you know, you know. Next up, we have a perfect storm of a design combo with the Ferrari Air Max 97s. This shoe was a perfect shoe for Ferrari because not only did it have the perfect colors, but it also had a perfect design. The Nike Air Max 97s have a very natural and artistic look to them with a curvy form that flows from front to back. A look that really reflects the modern day Ferrari models like the Roma, the 296 GTB, and the Daytona SP3. Obviously, I started with an all red shoe and this also helped me map out all the layers that are available here. Along with red, I wanted to use white, yellow and black. And this is when things really got interesting because I got the idea to make this small section white to resemble the old school Ferrari Le Mans liveries with the red paint and a side white circle that would have the car's racing numbers in it. And while originally I was going to make the Nike logo black like the numbers would be, I ultimately went with white because of how I incorporated the yellow. You see, as I was mapping the shoe out, I found the option to add a small Nike check at the front of the shoe. I immediately thought of the yellow Ferrari shields on the sides of most Ferraris right behind the front wheel wells. So I added a small check and made it yellow. This is why I went back and changed the big check to white since I thought it was kind of tacky to have two Nike logos right next to each other accomplishing two different goals. After this I added more white to the inside of the shoe and to the airbags which gave the shoe a layered and balanced feel. After this all that was left to change was the sole and laces to black which really gave the shoe a truly finished look and a major Ferrari aesthetic. The final shoe in my opinion is not only a great colorway but an artistic homage. But finally we'll move on to the last colorway that I have for you today and if you saw the thumbnail it's probably the one you were anticipating the most it's the Lamborghini Air Max 90s. I picked the Air Max 90s for Lamborghini because of the exotic styling with crazy angles and the rubber grill like accents and it turned out to be even more perfect since the Air Max 90s offered lime green black and a awesome spicy sandy tan which you will see will bring the whole shoe together. I wanted to start with a lime green shoe though knowing that I would bring most of it back to black but I wanted to create a shoe that had black accents on green instead of green accents on black. And while I was switching everything to green I noticed the Nike check could be a metallic gold. I thought this was perfect in order to represent the gold raging bull inside of the Lamborghini logo. I then changed the color of all these rubber pieces to black because to me they looked like giant vents that would be on the front and sides of a Lamborghini. And the biggest rubber section down at the bottom of the shoe not only looks like a giant vent but could also be a wheel well which is why I left the airbag green to act as if it was a center cap on the wheel. After this I still felt like there wasn't enough black on the silhouette of the shoe so I changed this entire panel to black which not only looked clean and reminded me of racing stripes but it also really helped the check get a proper contrast on the side of the shoe and really gave it that Lamborghini logo aesthetic. After all this though, I felt like something was still missing and I wanted to make it even more Lamborghini. One of the things I wanted to try to do was change the laces and tongue to green, but unfortunately the color option wasn't available for this section of the shoe. Although as I was looking at the colors, I noticed that this golden tan was the exact tone of color on those bronze and gold wheels that look great on lime green Lamborghinis. And after I switched the tongue and laces to the golden tan, the deal was done. The final shoe colorway was by far my favorite colorway of all the shoes I shared today. Sorry, Ferrari. Anyway, those are my Nike car brand colorways. Like the video if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. And until next time, see ya.